What's up, Tritons? It's A Young. Welcome back to another episode of State of the Student Union. This week's wellness events are paying off your student loans on Tuesday, hungry for healthy on Wednesday, and this week's episode is veggie potato flottas. Alone Together, an emotional support forum for international students that will be offered in both English and Mandarin on Wednesday, Iha Ausente, Stories of an Immigrant, Art Reception on Thursday, and finally Gender Buffet, Addressing Toxic Gender Norms on Friday. If you want more information about these events or any more student events, make sure you check out our website at Virtual Student Union. Link is right here. This week, we have Danielle from Associated Students to tell you all more about the AS elections that are coming up. Take it away, Danielle. Hi, UC San Diego. My name is Danielle Viviani, and I'm your current Associated Students Elections Manager. Today, I wanted to take the time to inform all of you of our upcoming campus-wide election and let you all know the exciting prizes Tritons can win by casting their ballot. I firmly believe that in these uncertain times, it is absolutely pivotal that our students are confident and certain in their elected officials. This year, our campus-wide ballot will not only feature candidates running for our 2021 undergraduate associated students representatives, it will also feature two fee referenda questions. All UC San Diego students, undergraduates and graduates alike, will be able to vote on the Counseling and Psychological Services, CAPS, Mental Health Fee Referendum. Additionally, undergraduate students from Warren College will be able to vote on their Warren College Activity Fee Referendum. To see the text of these referenda and a list of undergraduate candidates, as well as understand what your vote will mean for our campus, visit as.ucsd.edu slash elections. This year's voting will be open from May 18th at 10 a.m. to May 22nd at 4 p.m. All students who vote on Triton Link will be eligible to enter an opportunity drawing for an iPad Pro and Apple Pencil, five sets of Apple AirPod Pros, and a professional gaming chair to hopefully make their remote learning experience a little more comfortable. So make your future clear and be sure to vote on Triton Link May 18th to May 22nd. Today for De-Stress Monday, we uploaded bullet journals on our Instagram, so go check that out. Also on our Facebook page, we uploaded our new series, What's Cooking? And this week's theme is pasta. Congratulations to Ariana, Ronell, and Matthew for winning last week's trivia. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. we will be having a Nintendo themed trivia, so for all you gamers, come and win some Amazon gift cards. This Wednesday at 6 p.m. we'll be having our adulting series, and this week's theme is grad school. We'll be covering topics like master's versus PhD programs, financial aid and costs, gap years, application processes, exams, timelines, and all of that. On Thursday, for gamers only, Brendan and I will be playing Maple Story, which is a huge throwback game for some of us. Brendan has never played it before, so that'll be his first time. Right after, the art show is having a commentary session on the subreddit Delusional Artists, so join in for discussing funny art like this. Or like this. Friday at 2 p.m., we'll be having our Fika Friday coffee break, where we'll be sharing student latte art, so join in for a chance to win a free coffee mug. Our next special guest is Amy from our own team with some fashion tips for y'all. Take it away, Amy. Hey guys, my name is Amy. I'm a marketing coordinator for University Centers. I'm a third year Cognitive Science Design and Interaction major with a minor in Entrepreneurship and Innovation. And today I'll be showing you guys how I mix different fashion styles to create new outfits. So this is my first outfit. I'm just wearing this structured crop top with some jogger pants and some combat boots. And I really like the contrast between like the more floral feminine look with the athleisure jogger pants. I think it just makes it feel more casual and less stuffy. I also like pairing this outfit with some hoop earrings and like the combat boots with heel because I noticed that that gives me an additional and height. So that's it for my first outfit. So lately I've been really into getting like business casual clothes but wearing them like street style. And so for the second outfit, I'm wearing this one shoulder crop top with some trousers with like houndstooth print. I don't know if you could see, but it's like high waisted. And I like wearing them with these black sandals. And so 
I like also I also like pairing them with these floral earrings right here and I don't know I think that the crop top kind of downplays the business casualness of the trousers but the trousers give it a very chic feel and so it's a very fun outfit to wear so this next outfit that I'm going to show you is really similar to the second outfit that I just showed you um, I'm pairing a white tube top with trousers and I'm also wearing these cool white mules and I'm pairing these pearl earrings with them and I think it just gives it a kind of fresh funky look and this is it for my third outfit. So this outfit was actually inspired by Japanese fashion. My cousins actually tend to wear their clothes like this and this is actually my mom's dress. And so I'm wearing this chambray maxi dress and that's usually seen as a very girly outfit. And so to kind of downplay that feminineness, I like wearing like this bright orange beanie with um, some Doc Martens and I think it kind of gives it a more grunge feel, but at the same time, I don't want to lose all of the feminineness of the dress, so I like pairing them with these pearl earrings and layering it with like this lettuce hem uh, black turtleneck. I think it just gives it a very interesting feel. Okay, so this is it for my fourth outfit. And so for my last outfit, I'm just wearing this black blouse. It, typically like more business casual I would say but I like wearing them with these denim faded black jeans and I think it just kind of gives it a very casual feel but still kind of keeps the chicness of the outfit and I like to tie a black or croc belt um, by the waist to accentuate it because these pants are very straight bodied and I don't know I think I need the belt to help tie in the look together and for my shoes, I'm wearing these kitten heeled um, leopard print heels and they're very girly and I think it just kind of adds like a nice touch to this outfit and just to keep it from being super casual. And I think the animal prints work in this outfit because this is like pretty much black monochrome theme so there's not too much going on and I don't think it'll really clash and it makes for a really fun outfit. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the outfits I've shown you here and hopefully you can make new outfits with your wardrobe. Next up is Joey from UCAB with a few more announcements. I'm extremely proud of UCAB's decision this week and I urge you all to join us for our weekly meetings. If you go to the virtual student union page, you'll see that we're listed as a weekly event and our Zoom ID is listed on there. I hope you all stay safe and stay well. Thanks, Tritons. Hey, Young. Thanks, Joey. That's all for this week, Tritons. See you all next week.